Hey, this is Ming Tsai. I want to show you the best way to cook perfect steak using the Nova Precision Cooker. You can cook any steak. We have filet mignon here, which is a beautiful tender cut. But this technique works fantastic for skirt steak, flank steak, even a lesser cut of meat because it's circulated, right? Water is going to circulate all around this meat, and we're going to cook this filet in 30 minutes at exactly 138 degrees. So let's go ahead and get started. Like any cooking of meat, you season them first. We're going to get a good amount of salt on both sides. This I like to do on the protein, and then the rest can just go in the bag, but I do want to make sure that it's properly seasoned. All right, so then just using a resealable bag, I take my steak, I throw them in. I'm doing a peppercorn steak, so I'm taking a good amount of black peppercorns, tablespoon and a half. That's all going to get distributed. Butter, this will all melt, and then a good amount of garlic, right? Sliced garlic. So that this all goes in, and what we're then going to do, the butter's going to melt, but I do want to make sure the peppercorn gets all mixed in. And into the circulator, you put it in the warm water, and because of thermodynamics, the bag basically pushes all the cold air out, so it kind of seals itself. So the genius of this for all you home cooks is you don't need to have the vacuum sealer, right? You don't need to get special bags. You can just use your bags you already have at home. You see that? It already seals itself on itself. And then using, go to your office, get a clip, big old clip, and you clip it here. And now we just set it for 30 minutes on the nose. All right, that's good to go. So in 30 minutes, we'll have a perfect steak. So now we just got to wait, have a glass of wine. So it takes about 30 minutes for these two petite fillets. By the way, I could have done a whole tenderloin if you have a party. 45 minutes will circulate and cook perfectly a gigantic tenderloin, all right? So this has been 30 minutes. Obviously, the butter's all melted, right? This is what it looks like now. And I love it because all that peppercorn kind of got cooked in the butter, and, uh, but it gives the steak a fantastic flavor. So they just dump and strain because all this butter is delicious, but the garlic I want to use, all right? So this is now trash. What I'm going to do now is just take the steak by themselves, and these are fully cooked, but what I want to do is get a little caramelization, a little color on the steak. So I add just a little bit of grapeseed or canola oil, and I just want to give these steaks a little bit of color, all right? If there's a piece of garlic, that's okay too. Just to sear on both sides, and then let these rest, and then we're going to use this garlic to make a great pan sauce, all right? So these are going to take about, I don't know, one minute of size. So we'll just let these go. So after about a minute, you get this sear. That's what you're looking for, right? Just a little caramelization. Caramelization just gives the steak just a touch more flavor. So now another minute, we have some just sauteed asparagus. I'm going to lay that on a large oval here. And I want to let the steaks just hang out on top of the asparagus because I want to use the same pan here to make a pan sauce, all right? So these are going to be nice and colored in 30 seconds, and you make a pan sauce. All right, so now a minute on the other side. Look at that. That's looking good. So we'll go ahead and take these steaks, lay them here. Obviously, this is a dinner for two. I'm going to take now this garlic. This garlic's basically been Butter poached, right? This is going to be awesome. Saute that garlic. We're going to deglaze a little red wine. Uh, this, by the way, is this McLaren Val uh, Shiraz Grenache combo, Australian. And what I want to do there is just get all the fond, all the great steak pieces I was on the bottom, scrape that off. So I'm making a little bit of a uh, red wine mustard sauce. So I need to glaze all and get all that good stuff off. Evaporate 90%. I don't really want much liquid left. Add a good old amount of Dijon mustard. This is from my time in France. Dijon and steak is the magic. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock here. Just a touch. And this will all come together. 
And at the very end, we'll just monte au beurre. We'll add a little bit of butter. And we're gonna have the most delicious steak. By the way, this steak is ready to go. If you didn't want to make the sauce, you can do what they do in French bistros, which they just give you a pull of mustard and you eat it with a thing of mustard. That's delicious, but this, this is better because you have the butter poached garlic. You know, I'm so Chinese, I don't want to waste anything, so use that garlic. So here I want to reduce this chicken stock by about 50%. So take another 30 seconds, we'll add a little bit of butter, and we are good to go. All right, so once it reduces by about 50%, we're gonna add a little bit of whole butter, right? This is called monte au beurre, just to create a butter sauce. Just one pat's plenty, all right? One thing I want to note, here we have all this fantastic butter that we use to, to poach the steak, right? This has great flavor because of the garlic and the black peppercorn, and it also has a little bit of steak uh, meat jus in it. What I would do is not throw this away, right? That's expensive, the butter is I would take this butter, I would boil it in a pan to make clarified butter, but it'll be clarified butter with a great taste to it because now it has garlic and black peppercorn flavor. Keep in mind, it's not vegetarian though, right? Now look at this butter, so this is good to go. Give us a quick taste. Oh my God, that's delicious. All right, look at that, isn't that a nice pan sauce? You just wanna twist that butter in with all the garlic. You can turn this off now. And we take this beautiful pan sauce now and we lay this on the plate around the steak, like that. Look at that, so simple. Perfectly cooked steaks. A little bit coming off the steak that side. Leave it this way. Last but not least, a little bit of chopped chives. There you have it, guys. Dinner for two. Filet mignon. Butter, garlic, poached, black peppercorn steak. Yummy. All right, so a little uh, Darnberg Australian Grenache Syrah. It's 50-50. Mm. Great steak wine. All right, check out this steak. I love, I just love how simple this was. Using a butter knife, right? I don't need a steak knife. You'll see how tender this steak is. But notice how perfectly cooked that is. There's one temperature gradation. When you circulate, when you use the Nova precision cooker, it's one temperature straight through, and the only reason there's a little bit of color on the edges is because I wanted to bring in some caramelization. All right, so let's have a little piece of this. But I can't tell you how tender this steak is. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. This may, uh, this may put our restaurant chefs out of business because you guys are all just cooking at home. But that's the goal. Try this. Any steak, you'll be able to cook perfectly like this, and you'll be cooking like a chef. As always, peace and good eating.